Welcome, everybody, and welcome back to another wonderful podcast, Toe Talk with Tojo. I'm kind of low on energy today, but we're going to talk about something very exciting, and it's sure to get everybody hyped up. I guess but, I don't exist. But before Hi. we can, but before we continue, I'd like to introduce to you my famous co-host. There you go, Max David Ranger. I don't think we should use my full name. That sounded ridiculous, but... A.K.A. Whiskers. So he's here, and uh, we're going to speak on some controversial topics today, perhaps. Max, how you doing? I'm doing all right. A little hot. It's been a long week. It's definitely hot here in the regional towing studio. My God. Um, Any viewers or any of our fans out there that'd like to come and sit in and perhaps watch a film, uh, filming or a taping of the episode, just reach out to me. You can email me at niagaratow at gmail.com. Or you could reach out to me because you don't check your emails. Correct. Or if you'd like to be on the show, um, you can reach out to us on many of the social media platforms that we're on. Instagram, Big Ass Max. TikTok, Big Papa Tuna. We're on, we're on everything. Quick shout out to my best friend and mentor when it comes to audio, visual, all things filming, Jay Ash of Timeless Media. He's behind the scenes here. You can't see him. He's right there, though. If you need anything shot, music videos. Weddings. Weddings. Boudoir. Every, uh Births of your babies, all those kind of things he does. Uh, Jay Ash, Timeless Media. Okay, let's get into it. Max, I've got a topic I want to talk about. Tell me all about it. And it makes people angry. This topic makes people pissed off. And it can turn and make us pissed off. Are you ready for it? Giver, what is it? This topic is illegally parked vehicles. Oh, You come out. Those people. Let's play it from the uh, motorist point of view. You're parked. You go in to run in for some bananas. You come out and your car's gone. And you're pissed off. You panic. You're angry. Yeah. Yeah. Your whole ass car is gone. Okay, now... Why is there a need for such a service in the towing industry? You've got an illegal park, legally parked vehicle, or it's parked in a fire lane or left at a daycare. From your point of view, Max, been doing this job for a million years. One car's ran on steam. How, <laughs> something funny? Uh, how did, uh, how does this impact our industry and is it needed? It's absolutely needed. It hundred percent. You can't just put your car wherever you want and go about your business and you know think la ti da. It doesn't matter. I'm in a fire lane, or I've parked at another business and now their customers can't park. Block people's driveway. That's the worst. You oh, pull yeah. up and block somebody's house. It's absolute nonsense. And that should also be said. In the town that we live in, we live in Niagara Falls, Canada. It's a excellent tourist destination. I recommend everybody come excellent. down here and uh, visit because it's really a really nice place to visit but on long weekends especially we get an influx of cars that our roadways and infrastructure can't quite handle and we found that people park where max they block people's wherever driveways they, they, they don't care that wherever they can find a spot to leave their car that's what they do they yeah. park there they leave it they walk away and then they get upset when they come back and it's gone Right. I've had some customers call me and say, uh, there's somebody looking here at the fireworks. They've parked their car in my driveway. I'm like, excuse me? Uh, in my residence, in my house, my kids are home. We're trying to watch a movie and there's a stranger parked in my driveway. Can we remove this vehicle? And, and yeah, absolutely you can. Yeah. Go ahead and give us a call. We'll come snatch that car. Yeah. So some of the people that are watching and are wondering what a good revenue stream is, if you're just new into towing and you're obviously trying to get some cash flow going, I recommend going out to your um, private lots, your uh, shopping centers and seeing contact security, contact management, and see if they have a need for removing illegally parked vehicles or, or derelict vehicles. Wouldn't you say it's a good revenue uh, stream? It absolutely is. Absolutely is. And if you can get in with the bylaw, because they're the ones that will be on the street going, no, you can't park here, and they throw a ticket, they call you up, and yeah, off you go. Right. To the Ma pound. Max, why don't you explain to the people that are watching, which is your mom and my mom. Hi, moms. Hi, mom. Hey, uh, if you could explain to the people... What kind of people call us for towaways? Is it owners of businesses? I'll let you have a, a run at that. It is owners, owners of businesses, owners of businesses, by law enforcement officers, um, owners of private property. Um, believe it or not, people will park in your driveway. They will block your driveway. Um, apartment buildings, apartment building managers. Of course, we get permission from the owners initially, but then the managers are the one who call us and have those vehicles removed. People taking other people's spots that they've paid for and somebody's parked there. Yeah, absolutely. In condo situations where they have numbered parking and designated spots and they decide, oh, I'm going to have visitors. Visitor parking is full. Wow, we'll just take this spot while it's open. You can't do that. 
That's right. somebody's spot. You can't just come take my spot on the couch. You can't take my parking spot either. Correct. And it is a, like we keep saying it. It is a good. It is a good money maker. But if I was to give anybody some pointers on tollways and legally parked vehicles, you have to do them in a certain manner. You can't just go in there like the Wild West and grab everybody's car. You have to do it with some kind of candor. Is that the right word? I wouldn't say candor. What's what's candor mean? I, I'm not even sure. What's a condor? It's that's a big bird. A, that's a flying bird. Yeah. Anyways, huge. if you just go in there and go all rammy jammy and start grabbing people's cars, you have to you have to exercise some discretion in it. First of all, you have to make decorum. Sure, First of all, you have to make sure that the uh, vehicle you're moving and removing that illegally parked vehicle is done legally. Yeah, but you can't just take anybody's car. Well, let's we, say we for, can't just show up and you know, I go outside right now, take JS's car away. What's he going? You know, that's ridiculous. Well, let's say for example, you and I live in the same uh, building condominium, and then I don't like you because you trampled my flowers that are outside of my condo. Then I call a towing company. I go, hey, towing company, come and tow this car with X Y Z license plate, and I know it belongs to you just to get you in trouble. That has happened. So anybody out there that is uh, thinking of getting into towaways or is doing towaways. Make sure that you have backup. The person calling in the towaway has to, Max? Yeah, we've circumvented people being shitty to one another. Uh, the owner of the property first has to make contact with us to give us permission to do things on their property. And in a condo situation, then the manager, the supervisor, or whatever they're going to be, they give them permission to call us. So it has to be somebody with some kind of authority. Authority. And we take we take all of their information. Yep. We take their ID. This is the people we're talking about that give the authorization to tow the vehicle away. That's right. That way, if the police or the law get involved and it comes down to a, a courtroom or somebody's something goes sideways, we can say, look, it was so-and-so that called in this tow away. It wasn't just a disgruntled friend or uh, a mad neighbor or something like that. So we, we always have backup. We can't just snatch cars. Correct. We were, we were just rolling around taking things. We can't do that. Well, we would tow a million cars a day. Uh, all of them. Every That's, car I see. I'd pick it up and move it down the road and charge you $100. <laughs> That's an excellent segue to what I'm about to get into. So what was I going to say? I completely forgot. So we tow somebody's car away and they're mad. They're uh, always mad. And they come to the yard. Always mad at us. And we're on the front lines. And something I always try to explain to the customers is... We're not the ones that chose your car to have it towed. Why are you yelling at us? Why are you threatening us? Right. You made that decision, first of all. Yeah. Not only, not only did we have nothing to do with deciding it was being towed, you decided to put it there, which makes it 100% your fault. And then somebody else has requested that we remove it. We just have a job. Yeah. But a lot of the times I've seen you in the office, you're actually behind the desk. The people come in, they're angry. Um, why don't we take this to a whole new level. I've been taking an acting class and I know that you've been in front of the mirror practicing at home. <laughs> okay, this is true. It's okay, nobody watches this. No, it's fine. So right now, I'm gonna be the customer that had my car towed away and you are gonna be the nice tow truck person and we're gonna just uh, do a little role playing, a little scenario, if you will, with Jay Ash watching. Okay, so we're going to start from the top. Do you still have your sunglasses? Man, you didn't give anybody any kind of heads up. Well, you know I like to just throw things We can just you. do this. All right, yeah. Can Ready? I have sunglasses? Oh, you want my sunglasses. Yeah, because I, I'm angry. I'm angry, and we're just going to... And I'm sitting at my desk. We're just going to freestyle, and you're sitting at your desk. Should I get my phone out and play Candy Crush? My car was towed away, so I was watching the fireworks. I come out from where I parked it after I got my coffee. That should tell everybody where I was, and then I walked down, Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm at my desk playing Candy Crush as I spend most day doing. Right. Hey, hey, hello? Hey, uh, my car was towed away, yo. Where, Where's my car? No, I need you to pull yourself into character. <laughs> this is oh very serious. Oh, my God. Yo, my car was towed away. I was just there for two minutes. Where's my car? I want my car. That's very unfortunate, sir. What kind of car are you looking for? It's a Nissan Altima Silver with rusty fenders. <laughs> Sounds like a piece of shit. That's it. Jeez. Yes, sir. You parked illegally and we removed your vehicle. Okay. Well, I'd like my car back. This is a free service. How do I get my car back? No, unfortunately, you're going to have to pay the bill and then I can release your car to you. There's a bill? There's, There's a what? <laughs> There's always a bill. I ain't paying Jack. I want my car back for free right now. Yeah, we don't work for free. 
unfortunately, you're going to have to pay your bill or we're going to have to keep your car here. Okay. I just have a serious question. Do you take payment plans? <laughs> Hey, this is failing. Well, it's, re- it's real shit, too, because they'd be asking that. No, I'm just going through yeah. the scenarios. No. Do you take payment plans? Unfortunately, no, we don't. Okay. So we did a little satire there of typically what happens when somebody comes into the office. Chase falling apart. <laughs> a little satire there of what happens. We take it quite oh, seriously. Man. We do it We do it case by case. For In some situations, maybe somebody had a medical episode, and then they can prove to us Right, yeah, absolutely. And there then we'll are go- extenuating circumstances that we understand. Correct. So then we go back to management. We say we remove this car on your behalf. Uh, the person had a heart attack. They were taken away by hospital. Uh, we're going to give them a break on the bill, which is usually free. Take it back for free. I mean, we have hearts. We're not all mean and uh, no. nasty that just want to immediately grab all your money from a, a bad, a bad situation. Correct. I just want his money. I don't even want your money. I have no money. So let's recap. Uh, if you get into private property towaways, they are quite lucrative. Lucrative. No, they're lucrative, of course. They're yeah. lucrative, and and you can and you can do quite well. In make them. lots of money. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. But they come with with a price. It's a lot of headaches. A lot of headaches. And and something very serious. Even though we were just joking around, is if you do a lot of towaways, like when I first opened, cash flow was a problem. So I did any kind of towing um, that was needed. And you have to be careful that you're not painting your company as a bad company. They're predatory like, towing. There, look, there goes that that tow truck. He's the one that that towed my car when I was getting an open heart surgery from the hospital. Yeah. So uh, you have to watch. Again, I'm always rambling, but when I get a negative person that comes in, I, I let them tell their story. I let them pay their fee to get their vehicle back, and then I'm then I'm like, sir, I understand you're upset. And this is true. I say this every time. Have you witnessed this? I don't think I've ever seen you release a car, to be quite honest. But so I'm just going to ignore what I'm you sure said. You used to. I'm just going to ignore sure what you used to. I'm just going to ignore what you said there, and I'll go, sir. Here's a card. I know it's a small thing I'm about to give you, but if you ever lock your keys in your car, or your family locks a key, or needs a boost, I'll do it for free. Just call me up and explain you were so and so. Yeah. And then usually by the end of the conversation, even though they received somewhat of a negative service from us. I can turn them around and make them a full-time customer and ultimately a friend. That goes back to something that we've talked about already is that we're part psychologist is we're constantly having to calm people down, reassure them, make them feel better. And, you know, they come in hot and generally they leave feeling a lot better. Yeah. Dealing with the uh, towaways and angry people, you'll learn how to read their cues. I usually just stay quiet. And I say, I understand. I understand. I'm so sorry. And then I'll try to work with them, you know, to get, to get their vehicle back. Some people are enjoy it. A few weeks back, I had a couple of ladies from Niagara Lake come to pick up her her mom's car. Oh yes, you told she me about that. She was, and they she were was happy. They were laughing and taking pictures with our signs, and then pretending they were getting arrested by me. Yeah, yeah, they had a great time. Well, they were probably on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> um, one thing that should be said is a lot of people, and I want to hear from you people in the in the um, in the comment section. All my followers in the U.S., Canada, and we have some in Europe now. If you wouldn't mind commenting and let me know what you do in your part of the world when you uh, do an illegally parked vehicle. That would be very interesting to know, but it should be said that people are, some people are nasty and they're like, tow truck drivers towing away my parked, my illegally parked vehicle. What? Uh, Property owners don't have rights. If somebody parks illegally in your parking lot or you're in your driveway, locks your driveway, you you don't have the right to to have an unwanted vehicle move there. Max, what's, what's your thoughts on that? (laughs) Property owners have rights too, don't they? Absolutely. They do. Yeah. You can't just, you can't block somebody in. You've, You've ruined somebody's day. Yeah. You know, you know how, how many times I've been on the phone and say um, a local top grocer will call me and say this intrepid, do they even make intrepids anymore? No. This no. intrepid's been here for the past two weeks. It's leaking fuel. It's probably broken down, but this is a hazard. We can't just leave it here. I've got other customers. I have to keep them safe. Yep. Um, I need this vehicle out of here. So we go and take it and remove it. So we're actually doing a service. And often... A lot of times with those derelict vehicles, we get stuck with those vehicles. Yeah, we Nobody have, comes and claims them or pays the bill. They're just rotting in the yard. Sometimes it costs us money to get rid of it. But yeah. in towing, you have to do all kinds of towing. My point is, if you do illegally parked vehicles, there's a certain style and a certain way you can do it where you're not just painted as that negative company. But it is a, this is probably a poor choice of words, a necessary evil, but we have to remove vehicles in, in certain situations. Parked in front of fire hydrants, other things you might think of? 
fire hydrants, fire lanes, other people's spots, blocking houses, blocking roadways even, the people that pull up to uh, to the falls. And now, I mean, they've got those plastic jersey barriers now to stop that. But they used to, they would just park right there in the roadway. Yeah, you can't have that because that causes other accidents. Such a massive for traffic down there. It's just ridiculous. You it's, just throw your four ways on and throw your car wherever you feel like. It's absolutely insane. I've even had it where I've had um, a very popular burger chain call me and say, we've got this vehicle here. I like par- burgers. Parked, <laughs> parked, <laughs> parked in our uh, parking lot and it's completely smashed. So it was this past winter. And I get there and it was a lower end car. It wasn't worth very much and it was completely smashed and they just abandoned it there. That is a huge problem in our area. Maybe in the comments you could share if that's a problem in your area, but people get into an accident, they don't have insurance or they had the wrong plates and they just dump it at the nearest uh, parking lot they see for the owner of that parking lot to take care of. Have you ever done that? What? Just dumped a car? Myself? Yeah. No, I take care of my business. No, 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 no. I mean, in your life where you've had uh, some jalopy piece of crap and something happened and you left it behind, left, left it behind somewhere. No, no. I, I did that one time when I was a teenager. Where? Uh, Calgary, Alberta. And you just left it behind? Yeah. Well, I actually, I, yeah, I, I pulled it into a parking lot and I uh, went back and put it up on blocks because I wanted the rims and tires off of it. Mm-hmm. It was a car I bought. I never registered it or any of that sort of stuff, you know, and just walked away from it because it was... Yeah, smashed. but yeah, but now you've put um, <clears throat> some unnecessary weird circumstances on the private property owner. Yeah, absolutely. Now he's got I mean, this junk car there. You've just, in, in essence, dropped dropped your garbage there for him to clean up. Hundred percent. Right? Yeah, that's shitty. Yeah. And what I often tell people is like, I was they, seventeen, so give me a break. They tell me on the phone, "Oh, just scrap it." No. Yeah. yeah no. Come. No. <laughs> come in. Your it's your friggin' car. Come in and handle your business. Nothing makes you more crazy when somebody thinks from their impounded car it's worth nothing and they could just leave it behind. No, it's your vehicle. You got your license. You bought the vehicle. Handle your business. I don't understand how people just leave their cars all behind. It's crazy. And some some of them are actually valuable. Like they're not always pieces of crap. Yeah. Right? And, well, so- and then we got to track down finance companies and find out if you know if this vehicle's paid for, if there's liens on it, what we're supposed to do with it. Sometimes there. we get lucky and we get a good vehicle. Yeah, but and it takes you, up time and resources. It takes up time and resources, and it, it's super annoying. If people were just to come in, yeah, I left my car behind. What's the bill? I'll handle the bill, and they take it away, but that doesn't happen. Um, if there's any lawmakers right now watching this show um, in Ontario that has any control, it should be said that BC now has a thing. It's called a thing. When I don't know the correct word to say, I call it a thing. Ah, thing. Uh, Do you know what the thing is? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. So let's say you're driving your car and you impound it and it gets impounded and you leave it behind and you don't claim it. You don't do a thing with it. You just leave it. Okay. Okay. You cannot renew your license. American followers, if you could please tell me how it works in your state or your country or your location. Um, you cannot renew your license until you take care of said car in the p- impound. Isn't that amazing? That's awesome. Yeah. So your license is unrenewable unrelu- unless you take care of your impounded vehicle. You know, we subscribe to a lot of U.S. tow things and their tollways and their repos. That looks like crazy business. Uh, down there, I think they wear bulletproof vests full times, <laughs> full time. Uh, they use auto loaders. It looks hectic. Yeah. I've never used an auto loader, but they work from inside. I've sadly seen in the news them towing a lot of cars away and uh, shootings where the tow truck driver gets shot. It's wild. This is such a hot topic that... Uh, hot topic. Hot pockets. <laughs> hot pockets. Now I'm craving some kind of like pizza-y thing. Mm. You always get me off tangent. Sorry. Any second now, Jay, the producer, Jay Ash, uh, Timeless Media is going to go, wrap it up, ladies, wrap it up. And I got so much more to say. So this is such a hot topic. So he sits back down. <laughs> That TLC stands for the learning channel. I believe the learning channel reached out to me quick story because I always talk about myself. These guys think I have a huge head, which I do. I need more makeup. (laughs) I'm shining. Uh, The TLC, uh, the learning channel reached out to me and they did a segment on me about towaways and it was called stop shouting at me. And if you're bored, you can Google it or go on our YouTube page, Max. I think you put the segment up. Yeah, I did actually. Yeah, yeah, it's up on our YouTube page with his, t- which is called Toe Talk with Tojo, obviously. Joe's unrecognizable. Or you can, I didn't have a beard back then, or you can Google it. Uh, what was it called again? Stop shouting at me. Stop shouting at me. And it goes to 
in depth of the things we go through when people come pick up their cars or we get caught halfway uh, from moving their vehicles. It's such a, a big thing that TLC thought, hey, we Being need caught to, halfway is a whole nother topic. That's ridiculous. We need to exploit this. Obviously, they want action. Obviously, they caught some huge man um, yelling at me. Remember that episode? Yep. I told him the price, and he goes, if you don't give me my car right now, someone's getting the f- knocked out. And then I just, like, released myself, <laughs> and I said, You yeeted really? yourself into the corner and just hid? I was scared. Uh, Jay Ash, the producer, is looking at me right now. He's going to put that clip up while I'm saying this so you could see exactly what happened. It was actually reality TV. Uh, but when they called me, I thought it was fake. Dramatization. They said, uh, hey, it's she had an English accent. Hey, Joe, it's Caro. <laughs> she said like, Oi, it's Caro. Why are these guys fucking laughing? I said, she goes, hey, Joe, it's Caro from the TLC network. And I thought it was one of my friends. And I said, no, what are you talking about? And they said, we heard you're the dog, the bounty hunter of towing. And I said, what? I am the so, dog. <laughs> yeah. And I'm a big fan of dog, Dwayne, dog Chapman. I met you once and uh, you were very nice to me. Thank you for mentoring Imagine me. Imagine he's watching. I actually did meet weird. him. He's a great guy. Anyways, um, and they did that whole thing. So they did a segment on Toronto with Joey Gagne, my good friend out of Abrams Towing, a segment of me, uh, Niagara Falls. And I believe the other one was in Miami. And this thing played for almost two years. And I didn't think TV was that powerful, but the power of TV everywhere I went, even some tourists from Florida came down and they recognized me. There was Tojo. I drove by and there was an elderly lady on Bridge Street. I'll never forget it, Max. I was driving to a call at the ghost station on Bridge Street and I'm just driving, not thinking anything. And a lady in her nightgown, it was uh, 1230 in the afternoon. Okay. And she, she, she took her cane and she pumped her fist like this. You go, Tojo. And then I said... None of this happened. No, I swear to God, Get this happened. No, I see, did this. And I went like this. Now I've made it. Right but anyways. The two finger salute. No, that, that really did happen. And I got recognized all over the place. Uh, so be careful out there if you're doing towaways. They can. Be quick. Yeah. 58 seconds. And 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 be clean about it. I'm, no. I'm dying to share a story of the bad thing that I saw with the towaway. Not our company, luckily. Go ahead. It's it's long winded, and I got the wrap up sign from the producer. Oh, I wasn't watching him. Uh, just if you do Next towaways, time. if you Next do time. towaways, my suggestion to anyone watching: people are angry, people are hot. They'll try to make it not about their car that's in the impound. I've had guys try to push me and belly bump me, so I would react. They try to belly bump you. So what that takes, they're trying to take away from the impound. Yeah, they're trying to take away from the impound. So say I do something back. Oh my god, he touched me! Blah, 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 I want my car for free or. Let me see my car first. I want to make sure there's no damages. You guys doing towaways, you have to you have to really be ready for all that. It's nonsense. It Everybody's is. got a story. But try Everybody's to keep it clean. Story. Try to be extremely cordial. What I've learned in 23 years of doing towaways is don't react hot-headedly. Try to hear their story. Try to work out a deal with them. It's a good revenue stream for your tow company. It'll make you successful, but you have to handle it a certain way. You don't want to be that... There goes those trucks. They're the they're the negative towing side of things. That's all they do. They're shit bags. Yeah, we don't want that. We're we not like shit to, bags. We like to help people, but private private property towaways <laughs> are a are a necessary thing. Agreed. Hundred percent. All right. Do you want to share? That's one of the things we can agree on. Jay Ash gave me the wrap up thing. How much longer do I have? Like two minutes? One minute? No time? Thirty five seconds. It's done. Countdown. It's done, he Three, says. Two, I had one. such a good story. Anyways, thank you, everybody, for tuning into this episode. I hope we enlightened you on some things about private property towaways. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me or leave comments on our YouTube page, Tow Talk with Tojo, and my amazing, mysterious guest, Max Hole Ranger, a.k.a. Whiskers. Thanks, everybody. Nobody we'll see calls you, me that. And we'll see you on the next show.